new chief minister. Here he is now. Two thousand and eleven was a completely different type of election. It was about changing Gibraltar. It was about this place being a car park and then becoming a park. It was about our democracy not functioning at the time. Hell, we've changed so much. There is still so much to change, but we've changed so much already. The challenges that we're facing now are not dissimilar to the challenges that you faced in the 1930s. The next three months are probably going to be the most challenging we have ever faced. There will either be a hard Brexit or there'll be a Brexit with a deal. For either of those eventualities, the GSLP Liberals, Joseph Garcia, and me and my ministerial team, we know exactly what we're doing. I'll tell you something. When it comes to a hard Brexit, we know exactly what we're going to be doing hour by hour for 48 hours before the date of a hard Brexit and for 72 hours afterwards. Joseph and I will always be at number six commonplace. One of us will always be awake and will always be holding this ship steady through those difficult days ahead. Do any of the others in this election know what they're going to do for 48 hours before the midnight on the 1st of November? Or 72 hours after midnight on the 1st of November if hard Brexit comes? Of course they don't. Being Chief Minister of Gibraltar is a difficult job. Being a minister in a GSLP Liberal government is a difficult and serious job. We take this very, very seriously. We work 24 hours for you. In other words, if we're not asleep, we're working. That's reality. This is not about getting a cushy number. This is about working very, very hard indeed to deliver for you. Look at the manifestos. There's three that you have access to. One of them contains a post-Brexit economic plan and a plan for the politics of Brexit going forward. The other two, they talk about reviews, they talk about having a plan about a plan, but absolutely no plans. This is a difficult time in our history. Do you go with the team that has a plan? Or do you go with the teams that say that they will try and have a plan after they are elected? You know what the safest option for your family is in that context. Look at the other issues. Pretend Brexit wasn't happening. Judge us on the other issues and look at the manifestos. Everybody now wants to talk about a green Gibraltar, but we were the first to do it. This place demonstrates that when we say we're going to turn a car park into a park, We've done it and we'll do it again. Look at the numbers of homes that we've built over eight years and compare that to the record of the GSD who've been in government for 16. In total, over 16 years of GSLP government between 88 and 96 and 2011 and 2019, we've built much more, double more, 4,500 units than the GSD in the same period who built 2,000 units. On the issue of housing, it's a slam dunk to the GSLP Liberals. Or look at employment and unemployment. There's 37 people registered unemployed in our economy. There were almost 500 registered unemployed at the time that we took over. On the issue of employment, it's a slam dunk to the GSLP Liberals. Look at the sporting facilities that Stephen has delivered. On those issues, we've delivered more new sporting facilities than ever before. Look at the educational facilities that John Cortes and Gilbert Likudi have delivered. Each of them contains sporting facilities for our community as well. Six new schools. By the time that we finish this term in office, if you vote for us at this election, every single school in Gibraltar will have been built and delivered by the GSLP Liberals. That is a legacy, a commitment, a record on which to be judged. So whether it's on the Brexit issue or on all of the non-Brexit issues, when it comes to judging us on our record, on every single one of the key issues that matters to you, to your family, to Gibraltarian families, to the way that we are building this nation. It's always a slam dunk to the GSLP Liberals. We made mistakes. We made mistakes because if you do things, you make mistakes. If you do things, things don't always go right. Of course we've made mistakes. But we're humble in understanding that we've made those mistakes. We sometimes undo the things that we're proposing because we listen to people and we want to make sure that we do the right thing. We don't just want to force through our own agenda. And on those issues as well, I think we demonstrate our humanity, our understanding, our wanting to work with and for people, not impose things on people. In these four years, we will deliver that green Gibraltar. We'll deliver that child-friendly Gibraltar for all of our children. After these four years, nothing will ever be the same. On Thursday, when you're in the polling booth, do the right thing for your family. 
Think hard about the choice you're going to make. Choose the option that's going to keep your family safe and secure. Choose the option that you think is going to keep your nation, Gibraltar, safe and secure. I believe that if you look at the manifestos, you listen to the arguments, and you make an objective decision for yourselves, you'll choose the GSLP Liberals. I love this nation. That's why I'm in politics. I want to keep it safe. I want to keep it secure. I want my children to be safe and secure. I want our children to be safe and secure. On Thursday, if you want to, vote for a GSLP Liberal government. Vote for all 10 GSLP Liberal candidates.